Hey, what's up guys, it is CG, back with another video for you guys. And the Apple 6 is just around the corner. in the past few months, there have been a lot of speculations of what's going to be in the next generation iPhone. So in this video, I'm going to gather up the rumors and tell you guys what exactly you should expect in the next generation iPhone. So without any further ado, let's get started. As I said, rumors about the next generation iPhone have been picking over the course of the last few months and the majority of them have been focused towards the screen. Which is expected to increase in size a lot, it has increased from 3.5 inches to 4 inches in the iPhone 5 and according to the rumors, Apple has been experimenting with screen sizes from 4.7 inches to 5.5 inches. The main reason that Apple is doing this is to compete with Android and Windows phones who have already had larger screens for a while now. Well, the evidence that Apple is working on a larger screen is that in Xcode 6, there is an option for a resizable iPhone. Apple is expected to release the 4.7 inch iPhone in September, but there has been a debate on whether or not the 5.5 inch iPhone will be released alongside the 4.7 inch iPhone. Currently, the word on the street is that the 4.7 inch iPhone will be launched in September and the 5.5 inch iPhone will be launched in early 2015. Now, since we are talking about the screen of the iPhone, it is rumored that the iPhone display will be made out of sapphire crystal. If the rumors are true, the next generation iPhone screen is going to be really durable. I bent it a lot, I put it under my foot and pulled on it really hard, uh, I dragged my keys and my knife across it, and then eventually stabbed it pretty hard, but I was never able to get it to scratch. Both the 4.7 inch and the 5.5 inch iPhone will probably have an increased resolution due to the larger screens, possibly around 1704 by 906, which would give the 4.7 inch iPhone a pixel density of 416, the 5.5 inch iPhone a pixel density of 365. The iPhone 6 is also rumored to have a 128GB version, making the only iPhone with internal storage greater than 64GB. It is also rumored that the iPhone 6 is supposed to have a microSD card slot for expandable storage. Another big rumor is design change. Recent markups and leaks parts have suggested that the iPhone 6 will be considerably thinner than the current iPhone 5S, possibly between 6 and 7mm, and closer in thickness to the iPod Touch 5th generation. The iPhone 5S has a thickness of 7.6mm, while the iPod Touch has a thickness of 6.1mm. And because of this thickness change, there are going to be two major drawbacks. The first major drawback is going to be camera. The camera is how we're going to get a minor improvement. But if the mockups are true, the camera on the next iPhone will be sticking up just a bit. But this can be a close fix by just putting a case on the phone. But this is still a major problem for some people. The second major drawback is going to be battery life. So the current iPhone 5S has a, has a 1560 million hour battery. And the 4.7 inch iPhone is supposed to have between 8 and 900 million hour battery. And the 5.5 inch iPhone is supposed to have around 2500 million power battery. Looking at this, it seems like the 4.7 inch iPhone won't have much of a battery life increase, but the 5.5 inch iPhone will from the current generation iPhone. Other internal part leaks, such as the SIM card slot, suggest that the next generation iPhone will still have the current three colors silver, space gray, and gold. Alright, so let's take a look at the A8 processor. So, the, so according to Chipworks, the A7 processor on the iPhone 5S is made by Samsung. And this is surprising because Apple and Samsung have had a history of suing each other back and forth. And seeing Samsung make the A7 chip gets me thinking if the A8 chip will also be made by Samsung. Also, according to G4 Games, TSMC has undertook the production of the 20 nanometer A8 chipset. So the conclusion here is that the next generation Apple will have a larger screen, possibly made out of sapphire crystal, with rounded edges and thickness like the iPod Touch generation. Along with internal improvements such as a faster A8 chip, better camera, and possibly even NFC and wireless charging. Alright guys, so that was my take on what you should expect on the next generation iPhone. If there are any new major rumors, I will leave them down in the description. Also, if you have any questions or if I left something out in this video, be sure to tell me down in the description. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up as it helps the channel a bunch. If you want more content like this, be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace!